Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody shout praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We give all the highest praise once again. Glory, honor, and majesty to the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, our dearest Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our Father God in heaven, before anything else, we want to thank you, Lord, for saving us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for always being there for us. Thank you, Lord, for filling us with your sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you for moving in our midst, O oh God. And as we listen to your holy word, leading prayers of our pastor, your servant, we ask you to forgive all our sins, touch our hearts and minds, O oh God. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Make us understand your holy word. Help me bring forth your message with your power, O oh God, your love. Anoint your servant, for without you we are nothing. Remove doubts and unbeliefs. Bind the power of darkness. Cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody say amen. Praise so you may go back to your seats. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, 1 Thessalonians 5, 12, and 13. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord. And admonish you, 13, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. And be, and be at peace among yourselves. Amen. Sa Tagalog, datapwat ipinamamanhik namin sa inyo. Mga kapatid na inyong kilalanin, ang mga nangagpapagal sa inyo, na nangamumuno. At sa inyo at nagpapaalala sa inyo at inyong lubos na pakamahalin sila sa pag-ibig. Dahil sa kanilang gawa, magkaroon kayo kayo ng kapayapaan. Hebreo 37, Hebrews 37, Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Alalahanin ninyo na nagkaroon ng pagpupuno sa inyo na siya nangagsalita sa inyo ng salita ng Diyos at sa pagdidili-dili ng wakas ng kanilang pamumuhay ay inyong tulara ng kanilang pananampalataya. 1 Timothy 5.17 Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and the doctrine. Amen. Ang mga matanda na nagsisipamahalang mabuti ay ariing may karapatan sa iba yung kapurihan lalong-lalo ng mga nangagpapagal sa salita at sa pagtuturo. Palakpakan po natin ang ating pinakmamahal na Panginoon. Hallelujah! We give double honor, respect to the man of God, the prophet of God, the end-time prophet of God, beloved pastor, evangelist, will be Israel Almeida. Hallelujah! And we always cherish the precious memories of our beloved and pastor, Lina C. Almeida. Jeremiah 3.15 says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you, with knowledge and understanding. Sila binigay ng Diyos sa atin upang tularan ang kanilang ehemplo, ang kanilang pananampalataya, amen, na nagbunga. Tayo ang naging bunga, amen. Ang bunga ng Espiritu Santo, yung pag-ibig, dahil sa pag-ibig na yan, nandito tayo, amen, hallelujah, ng ating ginagaling minamahal, pastor, hallelujah. And on behalf of our beloved pastor, we would like to greet the AWCF delegation led by our beloved bishop Samuel Smith and his son my brother-in-law pastor Luke Smith hallelujah he is the newly installed AWCF chairman amen hallelujah palakpakan natin ating pinakamahal na panginoon and all the delegates uh, pastor Jordan Gardner international youth president and also doctor uh, Brady he is the international vice chairman of AWCF Thank you for coming, uh, beloved brother Robert Jacob, Jr., praise the Lord, uh, Jay, uh, brother Ray Downs from Kent Kentucky, USA, Pastor Antonio Davis from Chicago, praise the Lord, God bless you, sir, uh, Sister Bethany Nicholas from Kentucky, Bishop-elect, oh yeah, I have mentioned him already, uh, Dr. Brady. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for coming here, for attending our 22nd uh, Victorious Peace Mission Anniversary of the Church. Amen. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Magandang gabi sa ating mga minamahal na mga kapatiran, mga baguhan, ating mga kababayan na narito, mga minamahal na mga kapatiran na nag-travel all over uh, from nearby outstations and all over the Philippines, all over the country. Buenas noches. Amen. Maayong gabi sa inyong tanan, mga minamahal. Kagagaling ko lang sa... <laughs> So, Visaya, sa Mindanao, mga minamahal, sa Sambuanga, nagkrusada tayo. And ang salita kasi doon, Chabacano, uh, Spanish Creole. So, uh, they speak uh, a little, uh, half of your language is Spanish in Sambuanga City, here in the Philippines. And uh, that place, uh, there's so many Muslims over there. And uh, we, we just held a crusade there. And we, we celebrated the uh, 29th, if, if I'm not mistaken, church anniversary of our church in Sambuanga City. Um, there were so many miracles that, that happened in that, that day, that crusade about two, two weeks ago. Hallelujah. One of the newcomers, um, he, he got baptized the first day. He had a spinal injury. He cannot move for several months. He was paralyzed. But he, when he got baptized that day, he was healed. He was able to walk. Amen. So, nadalangin ng ating mahala pastor. And one of his roommates in the hospital, he shared to him what happened to him. He had the same um, illness. He, he had a broken spine or something. He was also bedridden. He was not able to walk. The second day he was there, he, he got baptized. He was rock, walking in front of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The first guy who was healed was not there on, sun, on that Sunday because they said he went to the airport because he was fetching his son coming from, from the Middle East. Imagine, imagine that. What a great God that we serve. Ang mahal na Panginoon ng Diyos na ating sinasamba. Ang ipinangaral ng ating mahal na pastor mula noon. Amen. Hanggang ngayon, ating nararanasan, ating nakikita, ating nasasaksihan, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Hallelujah. 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 Sa aking mga beloved, aking mga minamahal na mga kapatid, beloved Ate Peach, beloved Minister June, Eskera, hallelujah. Beloved Ate Ted, sa Dakon, Indiana. Beloved Luke Smith, hallelujah. My brother-in-law, okay, Rick, Ate Lai, sa lahat ng aming mga minamahal na mga kapatid, my beloved wife and my uh, beloved children and grandchildren, to all our beloved workers and preachers and volunteers, God bless you. Amen. Ang tagumpay ng isa ay tagumpay ng lahat. Amen. Hallelujah. Lahat nagtutulong-tulong. Uh, we're like an ant. Amen. In the kingdom of God, lahat tumutulong. Iisang layunin. Amen? Para tayo makapaglingkod sa Diyos na ating Diyos na buhay na iyon ang ating buong katungkulan ng sinabi ng Biblia. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po muna natin ang ating pinakamamahala, Panginoon. Nakagbate na ba ako? Blessed 22nd Victorious Talipo Holopis Mission Anniversary po sa ating lahat. Amen. This mission was one of the greatest mission of our time. Just like Moses in the Old Testament when God told him to go back to Egypt to ask the Pharaoh to let the God's people go. Amen. Siya ay sumunod sa tawag ng Diyos, sa misyon ng Diyos. Sapagat noong panahon na yon, the new Pharaoh was against them. They were growing so fast. Natatakot yung pero na baka sila ikubkubin, sila masakop at ang maghari sa kanila ang mga Israelita, mga minamahal. So the Pharaoh decided to kill all the firstborns, all the male, lahat ng mga kakalalakihan ng mga anak, mga bagong silang nasanggol ng Israel. Pinagpapatay nila si Moses that time ay iniligtas ng, ng, ng prinsesa, ng kapatid ng hari. Kaya siya naging prinsipe ng Egypto, mga minamahal. Nung siya'y pinabalik ng Diyos, Exodus 11, 4, 5, And Moses said, Thus saith the Lord about midnight. Sorry. Rather. 
Kaya noon pa man mga, mga minamahal, ang mga lingkod ng Diyos ay pinipili ng ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon. So sa madaling salita, umabot ng, ng ten plagues, sampung plagues, bago lumambot ang puso ng hari. Yung last plague, Exodus 11, 4, 5, and Moses said, Thus say the Lord, about midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, and even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beast. Yun po yung Passover. Ang nangyari sa, 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 sa susunod, mga minamal, Ecclesiastes 12, 12 of the 14, and for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, and I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. 13, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the mo upon the houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and you shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Amen. Mula noon sa panahon ng lingkod ng Diyos na si Moses more than 3,000 years ago, up until now the chosen people of God celebrates their redemption from the bondage of Egypt. Hanggang ngayon, naabutan pa ng ating mahal na Panginoong Heso Kristo dalawang libong taon na nakakaraan 2,000 years ago. Sini-celebrate ang Passover, mga minamahal. Ganun din daw po sa atin, mga minamahal, na palagi yan natin kalalahanin ang pagliligtas ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin, mga minamahal. Dahil hindi biro ang kaligtasan, ito'y linakipan ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Amen. We must Always remember the saving grace of God. Kaya kulang ang araw para ating pasalamatan ng Diyos. Kulang ang oras para pasalamatan natin ang Diyos. Niyang ating buhay ay kulang para ibayad sa kabutihan ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya walang mga kapagsabi na puro talipo, peace mission na lang ang pinag-uusapan. Bakit? Kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Totoong nangyari ito. Amen. Huwag daw natin kakalimutan, sabihin natin sa ating mga anak, sa anak ng ating mga anak, ang lahat ng, na nangyari na ginawa ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang ating Diyos sa buhay. Psalm 78, 4, 6, and 7. Pakitahanda po sa Tagalog. Which we have heard and known and our fathers have told us, we will not we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works that He had then. Six, that the generation to come might know them, even the children who should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God but keep His commandments. Palakpakan natin ating dakilang Diyos sa buhay. Praise the Lord. Mga awit ka ba natin 17, talatay 6 hanggang 7? Ako'y tumawag sa inyo sapagkat ikaw ay sasagot sa akin. O Diyos, ikiling mo ang iyong mga pakinig sa akin at didinggin mo ang aking pananalita. 17, ipakita mo ang iyong mga kagilagilala lilim ng iyong mga pakpak. Sama-sama na sumasama sa akin ang mga kaawa ay nagsisipatay at nagsisikob, nagsisikob-kob sa akin. Jesus. God bless you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin ating pinamamahal at Panginoon. Naintindihan po natin, mga minamahal, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God and 
but keep His commandments. Ngayon mga minamahal, ilang henerasyon na nang nangaral ang ating mahala, Pastor. Isa kami sa mga unang pangalawang henerasyon, I think. Hallelujah. At ngayon, yung mga anak namin, pangatlong henerasyon na, maging sa mga kapatiran na narito, ang kanilang mga anak, karay-karay, dinadala sa banal na gawain, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, masipag na naglilingkod sa ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon. Kaya naroon ang pagtatagumpay ng Jesus Miracle Crusade. Dahil ating pinapahalagahan ng gawa ng Diyos, ang ginawa ng Diyos sa ministeryong ito. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Huwag natin kakalimutan, mga minamahal, na ang ating mga anak kailangan din ng kaligtasan. Hindi lang tayo nangangailangan ng kaligtasan. Kaya ating akayin sila sa pagkatutuong langit, tutuong pinagaling ang karamdaman mo. Amen. Hallelujah. Tutuong langit, tutuong impyerno, mga minamahal. May kapahamakan pag hindi tayo naglingkod sa Diyos. Hallelujah. The mission remains the same. Proclaiming liberty to the captives, setting them free from the bondage of sin. Amen. It was a mission. The mission of the Lord Pastor was a mission of faith, love, and courage. Hindi tayo magsasawa na gunitain, pag-usapan ang nangyaring himala ng Diyos, ang kilos ng Diyos sa banal na ministeryo nito. Hallelujah. The Bible is real. Heaven and hell are real. That's why we must not take it for granted. We must serve the Lord faithfully. May mainit tayong maglingkod sa Diyos. Ipinakita. That is the faith of our fathers, mga minamahal. Pinakita nila ang totoong ibanghelyo, ang totoong kaligtasan. Amen. Ay narito sa paglilingkod natin na may katapatan sa ating pinakamamahal na Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ang sabi noon ng mga tao mula sa mga opisyales hanggang sa ordinaryong tao, nagtatalo-talo sa misyon ng mahala pastor, Why did our beloved pastor went to Talipa, Hulu Sulu? Amen. They said, mag- maging nagpatutuo kanina, the professor said, your pastor is ignorant. Ignorant, ignorante daw ang mahala pastor. It means lacking knowledge of the situation of problems in Mindanao. They didn't know that our beloved pastor was from Mindanao. Amen. We know for sure that the terrorists are killers. They hate Christians. They behead Christians. Even the, the, the Father Galliardo, a, a parish priest, was, um, was tortured. His eyes were plucked. His nails were, were pulled out alive while he was still alive. He was beheaded for just being a priest. But our beloved pastor went there. Hallelujah. Without swords, without bullets, without armor lights. But he was equipped with the power of the living God. Hallelujah. They didn't know that way, way back, our beloved pastor was praying over the sick. And they were healed in Jesus' name. They didn't know that our beloved pastor prayed over the dead, and the dead are raised back to life again. Hallelujah! He was not ignorant. They were ignorant of the power of God in this church. I have seen, I have seen it myself. That's why we were so passionate in serving the Lord, in singing praises to God. Why? Because we know that God is real in this ministry. Hindi sayang ang ating paglilingkod sa Diyos. Walang nasayang na bawat sandali sa ating paglilingkod sa Diyos sapagkat kasama natin ng ating mahal na Panginoon. Ang pastor na tinalaga sa atin ay tunay na pastor ng Diyos. Amen. Nalinalaki pa ng kapangyarihan ng kanyang mga sinasabi at kanyang sinasalita. Nagkakaroon ng prueba at ebidensya na ang Diyos ay tunay. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang ating minamamahal na Panginoon. Ignorant daw ang ating mahala pastor, hindi nila alam. Noong 1987, coup in Channel 4, the, the rebel soldiers were about to take over the government. We were inside the studio of Channel 4. Katatapos lang ng midnight live um, broadcast of the Jesus Miracle State at the time. When the rebel soldiers went and fired upon farm members who were going out after the service. One of the brethren was Sister Lee Wife Flores. 
He, she was saving back in 1985. She had uh, leukemia. She had a uh, last stage diabetes. But when, when, she, when she was saved, she was given two months to live. And she had arthritis too. Those two ailments were healed instantly in the mighty name of Jesus. But the arthritis remains. During 1987, she was one of the brethren who was fired upon by the rebel soldiers. So she hid underneath the jeepney. She felt, some of the brethren felt very, uh, yung mga bullets that they were hot. It was, tumatama sa kanila mga minamal, it was hitting them. But lo and behold, nobody was hurt. Nobody was, was hurt in that ordeal in the mighty name of Jesus. And Sister Lewi, she testified that after she went inside the jeepney, under the, underneath the jeepney, she was healed of her arthritis. Imagine that. Hallelujah. Naabutan pa namin siya sa San Francisco, mga minama. Lola siya ni CJ, ang aking daughter-in-law. The Lord extended her life from two months to live she was given 28 more years. Hallelujah. We must recall these things because these are all miracles that came from God. Hindi yan gawa ng tao. Hindi yan, hindi yan, um, hindi yan katang isip. Mga minamahal, ang bawat isa sa atin may patutuo. Hallelujah. Sister Cheryl Cedron. She met an accident. She was testifying a while ago. She met an accident and she fell from the tricycle. And sabi, she was given seven days to live. Mama, because there was a blood clot, she needs to get an operation, but they need one million pesos to pay the doctors, the hospital. But they, they, don't, they don't have that money. Ano nangyari? Napunta sa Banaligawain. She went to the church. That was eight months ago. Nangyari mga minamal. She was given seven days to live. Ngayon, nagpapatutuo kanina mga minamal. Kasama natin siya buhay. Hallelujah. Isama ko. Lahat, sinabi natin lahat tayo may patutuo. My beloved wife. She, she had a checkup two, three weeks ago because she was feeling not She's not feeling so well. Uh, she got some tremors. Uh, it happened 10 years ago when she, she bumped her head on the bathroom floor. That was 2012. We heard a big bang coming from, from upstairs. It was her. She fell. It was so slippery because of the shampoo and everything. She got bump on her head. We went uh, to a meeting with lots and, and we were reminded of that. Three weeks ago, she, she felt something uh, involuntary, feeling of a, a muscle uh, spasm. Mga minamahal. So, nagkaroon siya ng, na, nagpa-checkup kami, uh, general checkup, kung anong meron. Hallelujah. The doctor told us that there was an x-ray, you know. There was an x-ray, it, it was documented. Ang sabi ng doctor, did she, did she have a surgery? They were asking us, there was no incision. She got a healed scar inside her skull. Hindi natin alam nang Diyos nagliligtas pala sa atin. Ngayong oras na yun, dapat ba mamatay na? Nandiyan ang pagliligtas ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin, mga minamahal. Tinanong nila kung nagkaroon siya ng therapy. No therapy. Walang operation. There was no operation. We just, nalalaman lang namin just three weeks ago na she gone through so much, mga minamahal. Ang, ang lumabas sa resulta, hindi lang pala umiinom ng tubig. Sabi ko dapat di ka na nagpa-check dahil ako na nag-diagnose dehydrated ka. Mga minamahal. <laughs> Ang sabi ng doctor, she was dehydrated. We're not, 
uh, drinking much water. So, lahat normal, negative lahat, mga minamahal. Gano'ng katakilang Diyos na ating sinasamba? Ang sabi ng mahal na pastor, ating ipagpatuloy, ating ipagsabi ang kadakilaan ng Diyos. Ating ipatutuo ang himala sa bawat isa sa atin sapagat yan ay kapangyarihan ng mahal na Panginoon. Huwag nating baliwalayin ang kaligtasan na ating natamo. Hallelujah. Hindi alam ng mga taong kumukutya sa ating mahal na pastor nung pumunta sa Talipa Hulusulo noong 1992 drought sa Pilipinas. Hinamo ng ating mahal na pastor. Our beloved pastor challenged all the leaders in the Philippines because there was a drought back in 1992. He held a press conference calling all leaders of the religious sects in the Philippines to come and pray for rain. He challenged them, bring your just Josan, mga minamahal. Bring your images. Pray for it. At if they didn't answer, if there was no rain, our beloved pastor said, I will pray for a fire from heaven to consume your, your images. Nobody answered that. Sino po ang mga saksi? Sino ang nandoon noong 1992? I was there. Those who raised their hands was there. We have several hundred witnesses that was there back in 1992. There was drought. And our blood pastor, that was May 7th. We held a crusade and nobody went to the crusade. Nobody accepted the challenge. May 10th, our beloved pastor said, come back on May 10th, 1992. I will pray for rain. During that time, we were in the band. The, the choir was singing, we were playing the music. Lo and behold, dumilim ang kapaligiran. The dark clouds was there. Our beloved pastor went to the stage. He prayed for rain and suddenly the heavy downpour. Hallelujah. It was recorded. It was written. It is in the newspapers. Kaya hindi... Hindi katang isip ang ating pinagsasabi. This is not just monologue, mga minamahal. Hindi ito monologue na walang kapararakan. Tayo'y nagsasalita. Tayo'y nagsasabi ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos na nangyari sa Jesus Miracle Crusade. And in between that time, there were crusades. The blind were able to see. The lame were able to walk. Hallelujah. The lepers were cleansed. So many miracles. Hallelujah. Kulang ang oras. Kaya tayo'y narito. Pag narito tayo nagsasama-sama, grabing kagalakan. Imagine for two and a half years, tayo'y hindi nakapagsama-sama. Ngayon tayo'y nagsasama-sama. Ang ating pagpapasalamat sa Diyos. Hallelujah. Ganun na lamang. Na tayo'y narito fellowship one with another. Hallelujah. We thank God. Hallelujah. For all the things that He has done. And fast forward 1999. Before the 2000 Peace, Peace Mission, we we are holding a Bible study in Basilan, that is um, home of the Muslims. Basilan, Sulu, Maloso, Basilan, mga minamahal. And one of the terrorists launched a grenade inside the fellowship, like this. There were 800 of uh, church members and and non-members who were there. Three were, were suddenly, they, they were killed instantly by the grenade blast. But, but all, the, all, all others were not skate. Amen. Hallelujah. The three people were prayed over by a beloved pastor through phone. Hallelujah. They were raised back to life again. Imagine the miracles that we have. We must continue. We must continue on serving the Lord. There's nothing to lose but everything to gain. Hallelujah. If we serve the Lord faithfully, ikaw ang makikinabang, looking unto Jesus, for He is the author and finisher of our faith. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord. Hallelujah. As I call on beloved Bishop Smith, hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Palakpakan po natin ang ating pinakamamahal at Panginoon, tayo ito mayong lahat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shall we stand? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In the Old Testament, they asked the question, where is the God of Elijah? I ask tonight, where is the God of the beloved evangelist, Wilde Estrada Almeida? He is here. Where two or three are gathered together in his name, he has promised to be there. Today, we're going to do something that is very spiritual. If you believe he's here, you're going to obey him. He said, if any two agree as touching something, anything, it will come to pass. We have heard great singing. We have heard great testimonies. We've heard a great anointed message. And yet, before we leave, there's one more thing. On the day of Pentecost, there came a sound of a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the room where they were sitting. And the Holy Ghost fell upon them and filled them with the Spirit of God. We do not need to leave this place until we've been filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, be ye filled. We don't need halfway. We don't need partway. Outside there are devils, demons, uncleanness. For the last ten hours... In the Uranus Convention Center, in Antipolo, Philippines, this has become the house of God. We've become very comfortable in here. We feel at home here. It's like a church. We've been singing and preaching and testifying and worshiping and praising. Holy Ghost is here. But you walk out there and the devil and pornography and drugs and every type of addiction is out there. Demon wants to jump on you and tear you. Steal from your heart what you feel. Make you doubt what you felt and put all type of obstacles in front of you. But today if we're filled, there's no excuse for anyone to leave here hungry. No excuse for someone to leave here thirsty. He's here to give you spiritual drink, give you meat to eat that fills your soul give you strength. After you receive the Holy Ghost, ye shall receive power. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? I believe today, if we'll seek Him, we'll find Him. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, and knock and shall be opened unto you. If you're hungry and thirsty, He'll fill you. It would be a shame to have absorbed this singing and sit in the atmosphere of this worship and leave unfilled and walk out there and the devil jump on you. The Bible says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. So tonight, where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of the beloved evangelist? He is here. Where two or three are gathered together in his name, he is there. He's here to save. He's here to heal. I want to ask the pastors to come and stand across the front. Would you pastors please come and stand across the front? And if you're a visitor or a newcomer, if you are an observer and you've come today to pay honor, why leave here unless until you've received the promise of God? The Bible says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for remission of your sins, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. The promise is to you and your children, all that are far off, even as may the Lord our God shall call. If for someone in the balcony, someone the downstairs, you've not yet repented, it would be a shame to pay honor to the great evangelist. It would be a shame to be in this atmosphere and leave lost. You can come and these men will pray with you and God will forgive your sins. We have place outside for baptism. 
What hindereth thee to be baptized in the old name under heaven given among men, the name of Jesus? And the Holy Ghost is here. In fact, if you will obey God, if you will yield to what I'm asking you to do, there will be a move of the Holy Ghost around this place. Would everybody here take the hand of the person beside you? For the altar call, po. So, mga bagoan, please come over while the beloved bishop is uh, explaining about the altar call. In the balcony, on the ground floor, the can you understand me? The visitors, please come over. Mga bagoan, po. Lumapit po kay sarapan. Kay the Bible po. says, if any two agree, would you take the hand of the person beside you? Would you do that, please? Take the hand of the one beside you. Do you understand? Take the hand of the one beside you and hold that hand up. Would you do that? Hold their Aba hand up. Ninyo kamay ng inyo pong ka, ka, katabi po. Hold the hand up. And for three minutes, we're going to begin to pray. Magkapit basic po tayo at ating itaas sa ating mga kamay at magsisip po tayo nila. Would you lift your hand? Higit sa lahat sa mga baguhan. At ating pong itaas sa ating mga kamay. For three minutes. Sa mga baguhan. Take the hand of the person beside you. Take the hand of the person beside you. If any two or three agree, it shall be done. Take the hand of the person beside you. Hold the hand up and agree. And for three minutes, I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. That the Holy Ghost moves and comes this place. I want you to bind the devil. I want you to rebuke the powers of hell. I want you to plead the blood. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. Are you ready for three minutes? One minute. Lift your voices now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we call upon you today. Move across this place. In the balcony, downstairs, every heart. Lord, come down and move among us right now. Anoint your people. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. As the singers would come, would the singers prepare to sing? As they sing softly, and people are still coming to be prayed for. And you that's in the balcony and downstairs, hold up your hand and begin to pray together. Do you understand? It's your turn now. You have prayed. Now it's time to pray. Let's pray together. I can't hear you. On the day of Pentecost, they were praying in one mind and one accord. We have sung, we have danced, we have shouted. Can we pray? I can't hear you. Lift up your voices. Somebody call Jesus. 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 Call Jesus. Jesus. Heal today. Jesus, save today. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're still coming. Come down for prayer. Can you hear me in the balcony? Would you lift your hands? Call on the name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Rebuke the devil. He has to obey you. When you pray in the name of Jesus, you have authority. I rebuke you, Satan. I bind you, devil. You'll not jump on us outside. You're not going to take away our victory. You're not going to steal our glory. You're not going to steal our hope. We have hope today. We're healed in the name of Jesus. We're saved. We're sanctified. We're filled.
pastors pray for you. Come down now. Stand here.
paglamin po ng ligtasan. Apat, pagkinig mo na kayo, sandali po. May apat na reglamin tong kaligtasan, apat. So, tanggapin mo natin ang manapangilaon. Yung una, lumapit kayo, di meron kayong manapanataya. Pangalawa po ay pagsisisi. Dahil lahat tayo nagkasala, kailangan tayo magsisi. Lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Pangatlo, tanggapin niyo po ang Panginoon ng salito ng pagligtas. Diyos at hari ng buhay niyo. Din pang-apat, matanggap niyo pong banal na Espiritu. So, abang kitaas yung kamay, Sumulog kayo sa panalangin po natin. Tapos puso kong tanggapin niyo po ang Panginoon. Magsisi po kayo. Sabihin niyo po, sumunod kayo sa aking maiksing panalangin. Sabihin niyo po, Dakilang Diyos, Amang Banal, Maraming salamat sa dakilang Ibanghilyo na aking napakinggan sa mga oras na to. Mahal na Panginoon, ako po'y nagsisisi sa lahat ang nagawa kong kasalanan. Umpisa sa araw na to, pinatanggap kita ng aking sariling tagapagligtas, Diyos at Hari ng aking buhay. Ligtas mo po ako, malapay noon, sampu na aking man sa buhay. At isulat niyo po ang aking pangalan sa aklat ng buhay, Lord. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ang aking tinanggap. Amen. Praise the Lord. Opo, nagkilang Diyos ang manalan sa Panginoon Jesus sa ulat na langit na aming mahal ginagalang mga pastor and the prophet of God ang lahat ng mga taong tumanggap na dito ngayon. Patawarin mo sila ng lubos sila magkakasal at magkakamaliin. Panginoon, isulat mong pangalan sa aklat ng buhay. Gawin mo siya ang tutong anak mo sa lito sa guwa ang katotohan sa patuloy maglingkot at yung imbisa ng iyong relasyon sa iyong paglingkuran ka nila. No? Pagalingin mo sila ang karamdaman, baguhin mo, sulungan mo sa pagpalaan mo sa Diyos na ikaw lang pong aminasahan sa misteri sa paglingkot sa iyo sa dalangin niyong probita mga pastor sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen pa sa Lord. Hallelujah. At tinanggap ko na po ang ating mga Panginoon sa pagkabigtas. Ngayon po, ang gagawin nyo na lang po ay bautismo. Ibanggap nyo na dahil sa bautismo po. Kailang mabautismo kay sa tubig sa pangal ni Jesus upang mapatawan po yung kasalanan. May bautismo po tayo, mga minamahal. Importante po yun. May mga, may mga robe naman tayong susuot yan para pag-uwi sa hatahanan nyo. Makomplito po ang iyong kaligtasan. Importante po yun. After na bautismo kay sa tubig sa pangal ni Jesus, dyan po dandahan, gagaling yung karamdaman. Dahil ang sakit ay bunga ng ating kasalanan. So, bago kayo, pagalingin, pagpalain kayo ng ating mga Panginoon. Then, patuloy maglingkod, matanggap niyo ang banal ng Espiritu, siya po'y titira sa puso natin. Yung ating, yan ang silyo natin, na pagdating na araw, magbatanggapin sa langit, magmana tayo ng buhay na wala hanggan. Palagpagan po natin ating mga Panginoon. So, manatili po kayo, nakataas yung kamay, mga minamahal. Tayo po'y didako sa mga panalangin. At ibigay mo ang pagkataon sa itong bilabid for the preacher. Brad Ignacio po. Kung nandito po si Brother Brad Ignacio, wala po siya mga namahal. Bilabid. For the preacher rap lang ko. O sino po? Tapos yung kamay man lang, manalangin po tayo. Mga minamahal. Mga minang wala po ang tumilapit, Brother Pedro Ignacio po, itas yung kamay. Lahat po tayo mga minal, manalangin ng taos puso. Lahat mo tamang kapatiran dito sa loob ng gym na to, mga minamahal, sabihin natin sa Diyos sa ating mga problema. Mga minamahal, ang Diyos natin makapangyarihan na rin natin mga patutuo. Tas yung kamay, taos puso, tayong lumapit, umiyak sa ating mahal na Panginoon. Hallelujah! Opo, nakin ang Diyos mga malas sa pangalan ni Jesus sa unat na langin na aming malang ginagalang mga pastor and thank prophet to God and my loved children. Panginan ito ang isusumabo sa iyo. Mahal na Panginoon, patawarin mo kami labusan sa habang paglapit namin sa mga biyaya sa kalagitan. Panginoon, kami ay nagpapakumbaba at malapit susumabo. Mga Panginoon, at pinibigay namin sa iyo harapan ang aming mga problema, karamdaman, lahat-lahat, ang kabigatan sa buhay namin. Kay kami nang niwala at umaasa sa iyo ang Diyos mga pangyarihan sa lahat sa mystery ito. Kaya ngayon sa mga sandaling ito, may babang kapangyarihan mo sa may kalagitnaan. Pagpalaay mo kami lahat yan lahat, maanak mo, Lord. Hallelujah sa iyong kapangyarihan. Ganon din. Hallelujah sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sumigaw na malakas na Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Hallelujah. Hanggang nahabang nakataas yung isang kamay, 
Ang isa kamay niyo po ipatong siya po ulo. Lahat po tayo mag-rebuke with power authority. Hallelujah. O po na kailan Diyos sa malang minsan ng pulit. Mabang ka pangalaman minsan pa. At amin siya sa why. Ang pangalaman dito ang ganyan. Di mo niyo karamdaman. Di mo siya imprimit the sickness and diseases. Cast out for the children right now in the might of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Let no problem is vices beyond blessed and chilling. Di mo siya poverty weakness in their life. Heal the sickness of the problem. Let all kinds of sickness cast out from them right now, my Lord. Receive healing and problem solving right now, my God. God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, be healed, problem blessed, blessed and chill in Lord, financially persist with the Lord, in Jesus' name, amen and amen pa sa Lord. Palakpakan po natin, Diyos man, malahal, na tayo sumigaw na malakas, na praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God, mami na mahal. Ang dito sa baba, itas yung kamay, tumalun po tayong tatlong beses, jump three times from the top of our Moses, kayo po sa taas, medyo dandahan lang, kayo medyo baka maano yan. Sige po, itas yung kamay, tumalong tayo. Hello po sa Lord! Hello po sa Lord! Hello po sa Lord! Amen! Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos mga minamahal. Everybody say po sa Lord!